What's the one? Do you know? Man, I've not seen. Hello, Lou. Yeah, we're coming northbound on the 170 here, uh, approaching the 5 freeway. It's a vehicle uh, being pursued by Bell Gardens PD. Uh, we don't know exactly what the want is. We've been trying to get that information. CHP was going to take it over from Bell Gardens, but apparently the Bell Gardens unit didn't, didn't back out, and uh, so the CHP uh, held off. But it looks like now, as I look out the window, it's uh, going to be a, a CHP pursuit as we work our way northbound past some uh, slower traffic here at the uh, 5170 interchange. You can see right there the SUV holding uh, uh, holding at uh, the HOV link. Roger. And as we continue on here, we're going to make this interchange. It's for, for the freeway is pretty well slowed down uh, to a crawl as it makes the interchange going for that northbound 5 freeway. Uh, we're trying to get the information uh, from Bell Gardens to find out exactly what the want is on this vehicle. It was going at 110 miles an hour at one point as it came uh, through the uh, uh, Sepulchre, Cuenca Pass out of Hollywood, uh, up the 101, and then made the transition to the 170. Now now we're uh, uh, picking up to the uh, 5 freeway here as we continue on. But right now, looks like he slowed down. We're going to put up the map for you here to show you exactly where we're at and the speeds that we're at. So it's not very fast at all right now. We're only running uh, just about uh, 60 miles an hour. But that's all due to the uh, traffic that's on the freeway. So it's uh, going to be uh, pretty slow here as we make it all the way up to the 118. There's not much running room for this guy to uh, go along. So uh, what they do in situations like this is they kind of try to stay away from traffic so they don't get blocked in. But you can see him going around. Uh, the vehicles in that HOV lane, and he's got a little bit of clear sailing ahead of him. But uh, vehicles, these pursuit suspects won't uh, get up behind traffic because they're real worried about getting boxed in. But uh, you see right now it's CHP and their standard pursuit package of three units with one supervisor behind. And it uh, looks like Bell Gardens is completely backed out of the pursuit, as with procedures. Uh, CHP will not pursue a car if another agency is involved and that's basically due to policy at the CHP because they want total control of pursuit and have the authority to close it down if it starts getting out of hand so they do not mix with uh, the local law enforcement on any of these pursuits so we had that little uh, mix up there on the 170 but it looks like Bell Gardens is backed out completely and now it's totally a CHP pursuit we do have a LAPD helicopter uh, overhead and also a CHP helicopter uh, coming up uh, coming up to take over the pursuit. Copy that, nine. As we continue now northbound on the 170. We really can't see inside the car there through those tinted windows. Uh, we don't know We don't know if it's a male or female driver or how many people are on board this vehicle, but uh, it's uh, just continuing on. Not very fast, as you can see, 72 miles on Skyview 5 as we continue north on the 5 going through, I believe this is Tel Aviv. No, it's a uh, Ver... Van, Van Nuys Boulevard as we're going through. So uh, as we approach the 118, let's see if he makes any uh, dives for the ramp to take the 118 any any other direction here as we continue on. So uh, let me send it down to you and uh, see if we get some more information on this. All right, pay, pay the bills. And if you're following on KTLA.com, uh, it's Tim Lennon, Colton Von Pertz on the uh, Sky 5 here, uh, following a pursuit north on the 5 freeway just past 118. So as so we continue north here, we'll see where this thing is going to end up. But not too many options after we get up here to the 210. If he doesn't take either one of those, then it's going to be uh, 
over into the Santa Clarita Valley, but it looks like he's getting over to the right. He may be getting off here. Yep, he's taking the off ramp. And we're off at, uh, let's see here, as soon as the map catches up, it'll tell us five's coming to a stop. As he gets, all right, he's coming to a stop in traffic. I believe this is San Fernando Mission Road he's getting off of right here. Five's at a stop. We'll wait here to see what he does as he works his way around the slower traffic on the off-ramp. All right. Where'd he go? Are they out on their foot? What? Dick is behind it. This pasture, right? Yeah, this is the driver right here. He just bailed out on uh, San Fernando Mission Road here, just west of the 5 Freeway. Jumped into the backyard of a house and now is running in the alley. Uh, CHP is in the area. They're trying to uh, direct their ground units to this guy who's running through the alley. Now coming back out to San Fernando Mission uh, and now running back to the west on San Fernando Mission. And so hopefully the uh, CHP is able to direct their ground units in there. They're all over the place down here, but nobody seems to be heading after this guy as he runs here westbound, uh, northbound on San Fernando Mission Road, or north side of uh, San Fernando Mission Road as he continues on. So as uh, we watch a CHP helicopter overhead, and there's a whole bunch of CHP. There's a CHP unit coming in on him right now, and he's pretty much out of gas because he uh, ran that entire block, went over the fence. It got into the backyard of a house here. And then pop back over the alley. You see he's coming to a uh, stop here, giving up, uh, deciding to do the right thing here. It's just give up, let CHP take him into custody. So this pursuit uh, terminates here uh, off of San Fernando Mission Road, right at the 5 Freeway. As you can see, CHP with the K-9 taking him into custody. So that's the latest. Glenn Lou, let me send it back down to you. I saw one or two go in that backyard. One was carrying a briefcase, and uh, then the other one popped out here that you got on San Fernando Mission Road. Yeah, well, he was in the backyard of the Blue Pool, the last place I saw him. Is that right, Blue Pool? That one right there. How many how many houses south or east? I mean, where you have the address? Fourteen seven nine zero. In Idaho, it's fourteen seven nine zero. Alexander is where we saw it.
2,500. Huh? Okay, what did you say about the red shorts? Yeah, the backpack's right there. White shirt, jean shorts. Say again. Okay. And Idaho TV5. You have a description on the outstanding. White T-shirt. Uh, Blue-gray shorts, yellow tennis shoes. Thank you for the rollback. Uh, male Hispanic. The male shaved head. Okay. All right. He was in that backyard when he threw it, right? Oh. Oh, see? All right. Yeah, okay. Did he hide? I'm, I'm scooting. All right, gotcha. That door open on the uh, garage, right?
I've got an updraft going right now. Yeah. That's weird, man. I gotta get out of this somehow. It's just going straight up on me. Five's got both of you. I'm gonna make a quick uh, right turn here, come back down. Hang on to it. Sorry. Assignment desk guy five, it's a narcotic swant on these guys. Apparently undercovers were chasing them. Yeah, well, I just heard it from the guys on the ground. Yeah, these boys are hosing us up something fierce. Do y'all shoes? <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay, left the door. But the door looked like it was open. Yeah, you, I, that's what I think. I thought the door was open as we slid over here. Yeah, it's the garage behind what? Fourteen seven eighty six. We did see somebody in a white shirt back there. Okay. Four one four seven eight six. One one Alexandria. Four seven eight six. And Idaho TV five. One four seven eight six. One four seven eight six Alexandria. Uh, that's the house a couple east of where you were saying the pool. Uh, we did see a guy with a white shirt in the backyard. He went into the garage behind there, and the dog that's in the backyard is, uh, you can tell he's agitated. They shut the door as it went in, as the person went in. What's the, what's the uh, unit number there? Yeah, rooftop 587, the canine unit's parked right out in front of it. Also, Idaho, there is a person in the yard, one east of that, not involved, but he's wearing a white shirt, so not to confuse him. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I think we should leave. <laughs> hey, Matt, uh, this is going to be a long playing dude, so I think we should just go. Yeah, if they don't want help, uh, I don't need to stay here. 